Then a reminder of uh, the rules for section 2.2 .2 and 2.3. If you have a circle with uh, two radiuses, so the value, the angle AOB is equal to this arc because it's formed from the radius. Section 2.2, .2, if you have uh, a secant, two seconds, whether it is passing through the diameter or not passing through the diameter, the angle that is formed by the two seconds is equal to half the uh, arc that is formed between the two seconds. If you have a polygon, the sum of the opposite angles is equal to 180, and the sum of the this this external angle is equal to the opposite angle. If you have two seconds intersecting in point P, then angle 1 is equal to this arc plus this arc divided by 2. If you have two seconds, whether it is cutting the circle, or one second and one tangent, or two tangents, the value of the external angle is equal to the bigger, ar the bigger arc minus the small arc divided by 2, or half the bigger arc minus the small arc half the bigger arc minus the small arc, half the bigger arc minus the small arc. The last formula is that if you have a tangent and a diameter or a secant, the value that the angle that is formed between the tangent and the secant is equal to half the arc. Here it is perpendicular, so this angle is 90, which is half, half the circle, the 180. Here it is half this arc AEDC, here it is half this arc BDC. And the, sec the course practice is the direct applications of these uh, formulas. Question 1, VW is uh, the diameter, he wants the value of X. Um, first way you can say that X, uh, y, uh, XWV is 50 degrees, so this arc is double the angle, so this is 100. Half the circle is 180, so x is 80. So this is the first way. Or you can say that this triangle is a right angle because this is the diameter, so this is 90. So this angle is 90 minus 50, 40 degree, and the arc will equal to 2 times this angle, so it will equal to 2 times 40, which is also 80. Part B. Uh, L is a tangent and he wants the value of X. I know that this is 90 degree. So X plus this angle, let's say Y, is equal to 90. And the diameter is perpendicular to the tangent. So Y plus 44 is also 90. So X is equal to 44. Or you know that this, this angle is 44. So this arc is 2 times 44, which is equal to 88. And angle X is sharing the same arc, so X is equal to half 88, which is equal to 44. Question 2 is giving you UV. This arc is 130, and he wants X. Type. This angle is 70, and this is a straight line, so this is 180 minus 70, so this angle is 110. Angle 110 is equal to half this arc plus this arc. This arc is 130 plus x. If you don't remember, this is the rule. The angle 1 is equal to half BD plus AC. So 130 plus x. So I will multiply 2 here. So 220 will equal to 130 plus x. 130 will go to the other side. So 220 minus 130 will equal to x. So this is 0, uh, 10 minus, uh, 12 minus 3 is 9, uh, 1 minus 1 is 0, so x is equal to 90. Here he wants x, and this is an external angle, so 45 degrees, which is the external angle equal to half, the big arc, 105, minus the small arc, minus x. So 2 times 45 is 90, equal to 105 minus x. Take the x this side, 90 that side. So x is equal to 105 minus 90, which is equal to 50. This is direct application of this rule, which is this angle is equal to half this arc minus this arc. He's giving you this figure and he wants x. 
I know that this arc is 140. This angle is 180 minus 130, so it's 50. So this arc is 50 times 2, so this arc is 100. The whole circle is 360 minus 140 minus 100. So this is equal to 360 minus 240, which is equal to 120. So this arc is 120. X is equal to 120 divided by 2, which is equal to 60. He wants the value of X. This is a tangent. So the value of X is equal to half this arc, D, A, B, until here. From here until here. Type. I know that DA is equal to 2 times 75, so DA is 150. AB, this arc, is 2 times 55. Because I have another tangent here and this angle, so the, ang the, the arc is equal to 2 times the angle. So this is equal to uh, 55 times 2 is 110. So angle X is equal to half 150 plus 110, which is half uh, 0, 6, 2. Half 260, which is 130. So angle X is 130. Again, if you have a tangent and the secant, so the angle is equal to half the whole arc from the point of the tangent until the secant cuts the circle. Question 6, he also wants the uh, value of x. You have a tangent and you have uh, a chord. So this arc is equal to 2 times uh, the angle. So 2 times 75. So this arc is 150. The angle x shares the same arc. So equals to 150 divided by 2. So 75. Uh, in this figure, he wants the value of x. This is an isosceles triangle. This is angle 48. So these two is equal to 180 minus 48. So 132 uh, divided by 2. So each angle is 66. Uh, this angle x shares the same arc as angle ABG. So x is equal to 66. Question 8, he wants the value of y. Type. This is 68 degrees, so this will be 68 degree. Tangent, chord, so, so this arc is half uh, is double the, uh, uh, the angle, and this arc is the same, so this also double the angle, so the angle is 68. So these two angles are 68, so this is also 68. Uh, so 68 plus 68, 132, uh, 180 minus 132, so this angle is 44. So the arc opposite to the angle, which is PG, equal to 2 times 44, which is 88. Question 9. Uh, he wants Y. First, I'll get X, which is half this arc. So 114 divided by 2. X is equal to 57. And this is a triangle. The sum of all the angles, 180. So 180 minus 57 minus 64. This will equal to 59. So the arc y is equal to 2 times this angle. So 59 times 2 is equal to 118. Question 10, refer this figure. He wants the value of x. I know that these two angles, the sum of these two angles is equal to 180. So y is equal to 180 minus 70, which is 110. And these two angles is equal to 180. So x plus y, which is 110, plus this one, 62 is equal to 180. So 62 plus 110 is 2. 6 plus 17. X plus 172 is equal to 180. So X is equal to 180 minus 172, which is equal to 8. Question 11. Uh, he wants X here. So X is equal to LK minus MN divided by 2. LK is, uh, which is half. LK is 64 minus 20. 64 minus 20 is, uh, 6 minus 2 is 4. 44 divided by 2, which is equal to 22. So X is equal to 22. Figure B, he wants the value of X. Be careful, this is not a tangent, so I cannot say that X is equal to half this. 
so here I have this arc 140 and this arc 100 so this arc is equal to 360 360 minus 140 plus 100 which is 240 0 2 1 so is equal to so this arc is 120 this angle is half the arc so 60 so x is equal to 180 minus 60 is equal to 120 question 12 he wants the value of x which is this arc so it is double this angle i know that this is 25 i know this is 70 so this is 110 and this is 25 110 plus 25 is 135 this is a triangle so 180 minus 135 is 45 so this angle is 45 so this arc is 45 times 2 is 90 so x is 90 question 13 he wants the value of x this is a tangent and this is a chord so this angle is equal to uh, uh, half the arc x also is equal to half the arc so x is equal to this angle equal to 74 question 14 he wants the value of x this is isosceles triangle this is 50 so this these two angles is 180 minus 50 is 130 so each angle is 65 and 65 angle x between this chord and this uh, tangent is equal to this angle because they are sharing the same arc so x is equal to 65 question 15 what's the value of x this is direct application of the rule which is the big segment uh, the big arc minus the small arc divided by 2 the big arc is 360 minus 140 so 360 minus 140 minus the small arc which is minus 140 divided by 2 140 and 140 uh, is 280 360 minus 280 0 16 minus 8 is 8 so 80 so x is equal to 80 divided by 2 is equal to 40 18 also is direct application this angle 70 is equal to the the bigger arc which is x plus the small arc 50 divided by 2 so 2 times 70 is 140 equal to x plus 50 so x is equal to 140 minus 50 which is equal to 90